Thank you for staying with us here on Politics Today on Channel Television. Tonight, we're looking at the situation at the River State House of Assembly, the situation that got the old nation talking. The two lawmakers in the House on Wednesday were in a free-for-all fight, which led to the National Assembly intervening and saying, look, we are going to take over the activities, lawmaking activities in that particular state. A lot of reactions and counter-reactions have uh, thereafter uh, been brought up at that particular incident unfolded. But tonight I have with me in the studio men from the two sides of the divide, the anti amechi and the pro amechi <laughs> in River State. Tonight I have uh, Mr. Uche Okuku. He's a legal, a legal practitioner. Thank you for joining us on Politics Sorry. Day tonight. And also Thank we you. have uh, Mr. Chukwe Meka Walker. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Um, gentlemen, and good I, evening, viewers. a lot of things happened from Wednesday. Even before Wednesday, a lot of things has happened. And up to this moment, a lot of things are still happening. I would like to start with you, Mr. Uche. Can you give us an idea of what you think is the situation of things? Because now we have five anti amechi members in the House and we have other members of uh, the House belonging, uh, saying they're in support of Mr. Amechi in this particular situation. Do you think that this crisis is a river state crisis or has a, a national dimension? <clears throat> it has both a local, national, and global dimension. Because democracy has no, you can't really color it. Democracy is democracy. It's universal. What is wrong under a democratic environment in Nigeria if you take it to another country to be wrong, unless we're not practicing democracy? For five members of the House Assembly to smuggle themselves into the House and impeach purportedly impeached the speaker, Otelema Amakri, is wrong, is unreasonable. It is the height of impunity. And of course, you know the whole struggle that brought about democracy was a struggle against impunity, reckless impunity. All right. Uh, let me allow Mr. Chukwemeka to, to come in, in, in here. He, Mr. Uche talk, just talked about the fact that five members smuggled themselves into the house. With this situation, do you believe that it has a, dim a national dimension or it's just a local problem in, in the PDP in River State? Um, Shay, in, for the purpose of this discussion and for the benefit of our listening public, I want you to permit me to correct some impressions beginning from you. While I was seated outside there, I heard you say that five anti amechi sat early in the morning. I don't know how early. And we have listened, we have watched the events since Tuesday 9th of July till death. And even members of the River State House of Assembly, in quote, the pro amechi to use your own words, have also been in this studio and they have addressed Nigerians and none of them. I can mention specifically, Engineer Victoria Nyeche was in this studio and she spoke to Nigerians. Olush, um, Honorable Olu, the Chairman has Committee on Finance, was also in this studio. He spoke on this issue. Never did any of them say five legislators sat early in the morning. And it is important that when we were informing the public, we should give the correct information. That's exactly and the that reason why we are bringing you want to inform so, my brother, Ucho Okoko, that they have nowhere from Tuesday to date we've heard of people smuggling themselves into the State House of Assembly. So what happened? What, exactly. what was the situation of things? What, what led to the five members impeaching uh, the purported impeachment? Thank you. I want to also correct this impression, and it is the impression I'm trying to incorrect. No five members of River State House of Assembly impeached the speaker. But we saw, th those are the footage, this television. Th we saw them, we saw uh, Mr. BP say that, that uh, they have impeached Mr. Amakri. We saw those footage. Mr. BP didn't say five members have impeached Amakri. Mr. BP said River State House of Assembly had impeached. Let me go further. 
the people who came here agreed that the, the, the house was properly reconvened, having adjoined since May. And they also said that members were in the chambers when this impeachment took place. Nobody. I said nobody had been able to say this is the exact number of people that were in chambers. So you, It you... is the media that has been saying five, five, five. Why didn't Mrs. Engineer Victoria Nyeche tell you when she came here that there were only five at the chambers? And I thank God can, that can we are us? making reference to the fact that this impeachment took place in the River State yeah. House of Assembly oh, Chambers oh, oh, right. and Mr. not in a hotel Mr. Okay, Mr. Walker, how many tell us how many people were there when the purported impeachment took place? And can you tell us at, at about what time this particular situation happened? Uh, uh, say, I think you know that I'm the wrong person to ask this question. Because no, but I'm, you are informing I, us. I am you are, not you are a informed. member. Yes, Isn't I am it? not a member of River State House of Assembly. Yes, we know that. Yes, and I wasn't in the sitting on that fateful day. And so you've had members of River State of Assembly come here and speak to you. It is your responsibility to ask them exactly how many. We, we, but the important